All right, we are recording. So we've got, let's see, Gina I heard on the phone. I hear Tara, oh, Tara's coming up on the camera too. Um, anyone else on the phone I'm missing? There's a 508 number. I'm 508, Gina. Hey. Okay, hi Tara. Okay, all right, so we're recording. A um, couple things I wanted to um, find out. Um, next week on Monday's call, Sue and I will both be traveling home from our marathon. So um, I'm wondering if someone can set the Zoom meeting up and do the Zoom meeting. We'll probably be trying to call in on our way home while we're traveling. Someone be willing to do that? Anyone know how to set the Zoom meeting up? I do. Who said that? Tara. Okay. Do you mind, Tara? Yeah, no problem. Okay. All right. What are we going to discuss? Do I have to set that up too? We, we can, you can talk about it with people beforehand or just kind of have a list of things and just kind of, you know, people have been more, um, definitely more open and talking. So I, I don't have a strict agenda ever anymore. I just have a couple things that I want to talk about and then open it up. To else. I mean, we could just schedule it right now. I mean, like you could, we could, you could set it up for, you know what I mean? Right. But I, I just will need you to open it up and start it and record oh, so, oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So are you so going to schedule it? And then I'll post post a reminder so everyone can click on the link and then record it on Monday. Got it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Lori, Tiffany, and I were talking this morning, and she asked me a question, and we started chatting. We thought this would be a great topic for everyone. With the new customizable packs and people getting just the daily support bundles for cleansing, how are you guys handling that and coaching? Because I'm having people that, you know, I typically sent the 11-day schedule. I emailed that with my welcome letter to people, and of course, they don't have enough accelerator and isoflush, and everybody's freaking out now. So I'm thinking about not sending that any longer but i wanted to hear from you guys what are you doing i have i have not enrolled i have been using the customizable pack but i am i have been for a brand new person every time i've been adding the cleanse support bundle oh it is not different and they're still saving if you if you add the cleanse support bundle and the ice delights because you figure you get fifty dollars with the voucher right right so the cleanse support bundle is 39 and then you still have an extra ten dollars or eleven dollars in credit in essence so now the ice of delights instead of you know 35 or 24 and so they're still saving it's still a savings and you know quite honestly my question to you all is now there's not as great a difference between that and the pace setter. So it's better for us, obviously, for the pace setter, for the PIB, but that's where my thought is. I mean. I'd still so be rolling with the pace setter, usually, you know. I actually emailed Dr. Ina, not to kind of change it, but it is, because, you know, now that they took out the accelerator, that was a concern of mine. Three years in, I still take two natural accelerators every day. So I actually messaged her last week and I said, you know, quick question. So does Isa not believe we don't need the natural accelerator any longer, but just for cleanse days, the custom packs have taken them out. I'm in maintenance and have, um, still, you know, almost three years later, I, I'm still having my accelerators. I'd like to see my newbies you know, stay on them every day for their first 30 days anyway. Um, what are your thoughts on that? And she said, I've been on the accelerators for 11 plus years. Oh. I feel like the custom pack is good for month two and beyond, depending on someone's goals and product preferences. So basically she feels also keep them on the accelerator for a month anyway. And then month two, when not everyone meets their goal by month two, but it should be okay to get them more into a custom pack with the, the drop in the accelerators at that point. So because um, then they might not need to add the ice of delights or whatever, like a month two, if they have, I mean, if they haven't scarfed the whole box at that yeah. point. <laughs> but, but which, I, I, why wouldn't you? But um, I, I just think with the cleanse support bundle, I, I agree. I think they need that in the beginning. So I, I'm thinking that when they introduced it, they were not intending it to be for first time for new enrollees at all yeah. but and i don't know did anybody ever do the math at at home office to figure well you know 
I, I wonder what the sales, in essence, of regular 30 days plus ice and delights or whatever are, you know, in compared to using the 30 day, you know, customizable and adding a cleanse support bundle because that is the only difference. Yeah, because that's I, I, what I've been doing for all my new people these last few weeks is giving them the new 30 day because there's a new for new people and they still get the shaker bottle with the stacks in it. Um, so I give them the 30 day, the cleanse support, the ice delights, and with shipping, it comes out to 317. Then so you add on you're the talking about the three. You're talking about a custom pack, still custom, custom. pack, yeah, yeah. Okay. which yeah. is less expensive because it's us it's usually like around three seventy five for a thirty day adding on the ice of delights with the twenty nine dollars. So it's three forty six, but compared to three seventy five, it's I don't know if they realize. You know, the only thing that to to me, the only thing I think you're missing are the four straws of replenish, uh, and that's right. not I worth ours that is much like money. <laughs> yeah, I think ours is like a thirty dollars. It used to be, because we have no tax here, but it, it was, right. if you added the Ice of Delights, I think it was three fifty eight, dollars all-inclusive, and, and it's not. Yeah, it's much less than that now. I think it is like three seventeen or something. Yeah. So are you still trying to do pay setter first, and then backup plan is the customizable 30-day cleanse support bundle in Ice of Delights? Yeah, but it, it all, I mean, I work with them. I mean, I show... And then the great thing is, is that product post that we have in HHP, I've had more people go for the pay, the president's pack than ever before, which is awesome. And then some people just pick the pay setter pack. But if they're trying to decide between the two, that's when we have a discussion of, do you need a blender? Vitamins. Um, and, you know, yeah. like, you know, that, you know, I'm saying between the pay setter oh, and the yeah, 30 yeah. day. Yeah. Um, if they need vitamins, it's a no brainer, yep. but you know, if they, if do they need a blender, do they want the extra snacks, you know, like that kind of thing. And I just point out the differences and then, you know, some have gone, it's like been 50, 50. It kind of just depends on what, you know what I, I wonder though, Tiffany, you know, that, that, I, that price post obviously is a regular 30 day. So, you know, I don't know when you, when you talk to them about the pricing, it's, not really what they're seeing on there because that is more. But then my other question is this, and I've had this for a long time. Now I have never rolled anyone on a president's pack. Okay. Um, the only difference between it and, and I so might be missing something. So please help me here. The only difference is basically it's the pace setter plus the vitamins. Okay. However, they're getting the, they're not getting the E shots and the shaker cups right? They're getting one or the other. All right. So if you weigh it out, I mean, and I know obviously president's pack double, that's a lot of money for us. Okay. But if you have to take the pre the pace set and you add the vitamins, so now it's exactly the same and you have the shaker cups and the e-shots, it's less money. It is cheaper. It is. Cheaper. It is. So I feel, I don't know. I just feel I mean, yeah, it, they are getting all the products that they need. So what's the benefit of that versus saying, you know, I'm getting more money? Do they also get, though, a bigger coup event? And this may not matter to people. Event coupon, more of a... Um, $50, right. Yeah. 75 actually. Like, yeah, yeah. 75 with the president. Yeah. So and that's, that's, that's the other discussion. It's right. a $50 difference, right. So I guess if they're saying, I definitely want to do this as a business, then that definitely makes sense. Yes. Because then, right, because then it's, but otherwise, I, I, I am kind of in a quandary, you know, just between us. So those of you who sell President's Packs, you know, help me out here. I used to sell them a lot in the beginning, but I, Paysetter is really my go-to pack. I get most people on that now. The customizable ones, I did when we had that extra $25 because that was like crazy. They yeah. got you know, and I didn't do the cleanse support bundles, so I should have, that's where I made my mistake. I should have done that, but um, they got so much with that extra $25. So that's why I thought now's a good time to kind of hash this over and see what you guys are doing. And then are you just letting them get the stuff in their welcome packet to coach them through and not giving them the 11 day any longer? Or are you guys still using the 11 day? That's my question. I yeah, want to know, can you guys hear me? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I wanted to know um, who's sending out that 11 day schedule like I got from Cindy when I started because what I'm hearing from people is that they're confused between my schedule and what's coming in their kit mm-hmm. and they're following what's coming in the kit. I just do this and I cross that out. I post it and basically because I want to set them up for the, the way the program was intended with the two deep cleanse yeah. days. And Why are they not sending it that way anymore? I have no idea. Well, at and the bottom, in the pamphlet, there's the 30-day and the 9-day. So I tell them what I, I, I the first, I first ask them, I say, do you want to see results as quickly as possible? This is the first question I ask them. And then they're like, oh, no. yeah. And then I was like, yeah, I mean, who's going to say no? So, and, then, and then they'll say, yeah. And I was like, well, what I would recommend then is you go down and you do that nine day first. Right. And then we're going to finish off the rest of the month with all shake days. So exactly. there's a place. And then I just have them, you know, fill in the custom calendar with that. So mm-hmm. that way they can see that it's there and they see that, you know, but, and I'm explaining why we're doing that versus what's in the brochure, you know? Okay. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I stopped sending that 11 day one because it was getting confusing to them. And I wanted to try to use the same tools that, you know, Isogenics was sending. So mm-hmm. I had stopped. And then I was like, when it went to this, I'm like, what? So I was just like, yeah, I mean, all of a nine day and then add in two weeks of shakes basically is what, you know. What were you sending? What, what does the, is it? Um, like a PDF, the 11 days yeah. that you were sending? Yeah, and it was, it basically was this nine day. It was two shake days, two cleanse days, five shake days, two cleanse days. And we sent it out to everybody and it had a really good detailed schedule. And we- It was found, much more detailed yeah. than what you get. Yeah. Yeah. So can we you, really can liked post it. that, Cindy? Sure. Sure. Yeah, but I'm kind of thinking I'm going to go away from it now <laughs> because I, I don't want to confuse them. Right. Well, I don't want them to do, right. It, they look, you know- they're seeing, wait a minute, and if you're not, depending on, okay, so if you're enrolling them, you're going to have that conversation and the two days, but now it gets, all right, so all the way down, I don't, I don't know if that's happening, you know, if everybody is saying, you know, in my team, that you want to do a two-day, like, I, I can't imagine not doing a two-day. And you guys know that if you have a preferred client, they do not get the welcome box at all. A brand new preferred client with a 30 day system does not get the welcome box. So they won't get this packet? No, I did not know that. Oh, I didn't know that. What don't they get? They don't get the welcome box with the DVD, the guide. Have they never? I, I don't know, but I had a client under someone else. I helped someone enroll someone and she... Um, called me and said she didn't get the box I was talking about. So I called about it and um, they said they don't send the welcome boxes to preferred clients. They should at least give them the pamphlet that has the, the guide. They don't yeah. even get that, the guide? They, they, all they said was that the welcome box that has this in it, they do not get. Okay. And I was like, oh my gosh, I never knew that. Did you talk to somebody or you recorded chat, whatever? Um, no, I actually talked to someone, so I had an extra one here, so I gave them mine. I feel like you should call back and ask another person, but I because ha- I have to say, I've gotten conflicting answers on multiple questions. Yeah. Isn't that available as a PDF? I believe that yeah. I downloaded yeah. it the other day. So yeah. Place that. But, I didn't, but I didn't know that. Like, I had my first ever preferred customer sign up a couple weeks ago, and I didn't realize he didn't get it. Yeah. So. And that was their point, Tanya, was that we can get it all online now because everything's online. But I love I love them having the actual guide, right. the tape measure. So I'm going to get them as, a, as an associate, I guess. Yeah, no wow. tape measure either. That's, yeah. Um, but. yeah. All right. Um, Lori, are you comfortable with that answer? I am. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, Sue and I are, after this, we are going to do our 90 day, um, wrap up and we're giving away this little French press thing. Wouldn't you love to know who's going to win? Um, people are messaging me. Who won? I'm looking for the video. We're all in here. We're going to do a live drawing. Um, we don't have a contest for this week. Today we're going to talk about, um, the three by three matrix, um, adding prospects to HHP, pouring greatness into people, stuff like that. So, um, we want any ideas for future, um, training from you guys. Does anyone have anything that you think would be a great thing you want your team to know about, uh, for us to reiterate, they may have heard it 10 times already, but anything you really want your team to get. Uh, you know, I think if you saw what I posted today, the video on ISA for wealth, 
I've had a lot of questions. Basically, I just went over how, oh, I erased it already, but how um, I get a lot of questions on, wait a minute, I didn't enroll her or I enrolled her. Why isn't she under me? She was under Bobby. What, you know, and because it's only a binary plant and how, the, how you can earn infinitely down and how the BV just accumulates in the bank at the bottom. So if you, if you watch the video, but I think just things like that, that might come so natural to us. I think our comp plan is really easy, but I think it does require a visual. Okay. You know, so I did it like in different color circles or whatever. Um, I think the HHP like you did is, can be reiterated over and over. Um, I think Cindy posted about the two week turnaround too, and the rule of five. And, and you know what, maybe you can just go into more even 10 xing it. Um, you know, we're so everyone's always heard 10 4 1 with the Facebook posts. But um, I have been really making sure to have like five posts a day on, you know, on health or wealth or motivation or, you know, something. And I have gotten, you know, and I was nervous to do that as is my team, but um, I've gotten recently a lot of, oh my gosh, I really love reading your posts. Um, you know, people that I did not connect with on a regular basis. And I think that they were, when they shared, Lynette and Paul shared, like, you know, if I called somebody 10 times within two days, that would be annoying. But if you post 10 times in two days, everyone is not seeing all 10 posts, depending on when you're posting, when they're looking, you know. Um, and so, um, you know, and, and I hardly ever, ever, ever say isogenics. And so it's more just, wow, because people's lives change every 30, 60, 90 days. And you want, when they change, if it's for the worse or whatever, you want them to think, Lisa, Susan, Cindy, you know, you want them to think your name. So maybe even also about changing the Facebook algorithm. Did you see that, um, mm -hmm. that one? Yeah. I thought that was really, really cool how important that stuff is for the private messaging. And you know what? Maybe you give the homework that they gave that day, which was um, do 10 um, video messages, private messages on your phone using Facebook to non-business people. Okay. And because, because the private message increases the, the algorithm, you know, that the more private messaging you have will appear in their newsfeed. So when you send a video Facebook message to someone, they are really more apt to respond back to you, which then can get that dialogue going. Okay. And, and, and you know what? A, a simple way to start is to do all your birthday wishes like that. Like, what am I going to say? But it, once you start, it's really easy. And look, if you had 10 people to do, you're talking about less than two minutes. That's 150. You only have 15 seconds max. And a lot of times you don't even do it that long. So that was, that's kind of a good homework -y kind of thing to do. Sure. So, and I've been keeping track over like, you know, who I'm video messaging each day to, you know, to try and, um, you know, continue to do that. Sure. Great. Thank definitely you. Definitely non-business people. Like, and, and I would even go further, not only non-business people, but the people who are not regularly showing up in your feed. Those, those are the ones, because your whole point is to, you know, get new people into the feed. Hey, Tara, are yeah. you getting um, response to those? Yeah. Yeah. And I might say something like, oh my God, you know, I was just thinking about College, I, my daughter's in college. I was just thinking about college. I can't believe it. I just wanted to say a quick hi. You know, and people are like, oh my God, that was so sweet. Okay, I sent a couple and I've gotten absolutely no response whatsoever. And you think there would be some kind of like, oh, that was cool or thank you or whatever. You so. know what? Look, do you private message everyone and everyone, you know, doesn't. But I feel like with the birthday ones also, it's definitely, you know, everyone's getting so many messages on the thing and they all go through. But a, knowing the algorithm changes. And you have, like, I've been doing a ton of them. And it's, a, you know, it's like everything else, Lori. It's not a, it's a numbers game. So yeah, you're going to get some that are not going to respond at all. And, and I'm not worried about it. I'm yeah, going to keep yeah. doing it. I was just wondering what yeah. you, no, it's not I everyone. haven't done enough to make yeah. a judgment. It's Definitely just not everyone not. responds, right. And it depends on also like what you say, because if there's just something, it's also kind of like that, what Paul says, like that, see something, say something. So if you could think of, Oh my God, this happened today. Who does it remind me of? And then try and, you know, 
send the video based on that because then it has more, you know, maybe more meaning mm -hmm. or whatever. More pertinent, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, awesome. How about um, any HHP things we need to discuss, guys? Wait, Cindy, I just want to add one, one more thing on that. Just, you know, when you're putting out, if you choose to do that for the homework, you know, make sure the whole point that they know it is not to say anything about isogenics. It is not a sales message or whatever. It's solely to add value to somebody's life. That's okay. what those messages should be. Okay. okay. Thanks. All right. HHP, how are we doing? Everybody contributing more? It seems, it seems like people are really doing a lot of posting. Kelly, Tiff, anything you guys, Kim? Tom? Yeah, I mean, um, we're working on compliance stuff now. So just making sure that, you know, cause lots of people are posting, you know, I lost four pounds in a week or whatever. So just working on keeping a compliance post in the news feed and reaching out to those people that are posting it and just saying, that's awesome, we're happy for you, but let's just edit this a little bit. So like in a short time, instead of saying in four days. Right. And I shared Kelly, my, it was one of my people who did that, you know, and I had, and it, it's kind of weird because they're like, well, why, you know? And I just said about, you know, look, there was another company and they weren't very compliant. And yeah. so we just want to, you know, protect and whatever. And when I said that, that this other company had been closed down, she was like, oh my God, okay. Right. You know, and it wasn't, saying, there was more than one, you know, it's there's definitely yeah. more than one person. So we're, you know, it, that's, that the biggest thing is that it's just letting people know why it's not because we didn't make this up. <laughs> Yeah. You know, it has nothing to do with us. It's just and that we don't want to have to police it either, but it's just right. But, yeah. You know, I mean, our, and, and I see tons of other people not on our team in my newsfeed that, you know, like 30 days, I lost 20 pounds, but you know, I mean, this is our, <laughs> this is our life here at stake. You know, I don't want that to get, you know, taken away because of something as silly as that, that we could, you know, that we could change. So well, that's why I say about the other company too, like to say this did happen. It's not just that we're hoping it. Wait, so I have a question. If you see something on your personal newsfeed, like then what do you, what do you do? Or if somebody tags you and you know what I mean? So what would, well, if somebody tagged me, I would definitely take care of it. But for the other people that aren't on my team, I'm not doing, I'm not. Oh no, no, no. For not those, but, but what about, um, what about if somebody didn't tell you, right? And they, so, cause sometimes I don't even know. I'm like, oh my gosh. And they posted about there. So you would do the same thing and just have them change it on their own personal feed, right? Okay. Yep. You know, we all used to do that. Right. Yes. Yeah. 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 And, and, and even though we maybe knew it wasn't compliant, we, I don't think we really even paid that much attention to compliancy. Right. And I think this VEMA thing really made us all go, Wow. Well, yeah, the, the big, biggest thing is the whole time frame and the weight. We all did that. We never knew it wasn't compliant, you know? No, we so. thought compliancy was we don't cure or... Right. right. You know, that's what we thought right. compliancy was. So we've been doing that from day one and following the rules there, but we did not know you couldn't say weight and right. in the same thing. And I think that was always an issue, but we just kind of didn't really... And now we're... I think we've gotten so much better, everybody. I mean, it's just so much better, but we're all heightened alert, you know? Right. I wonder why, you know, the, right, the curing thing, we can't, we can't say that we cure anything, but if somebody really did lose that amount of weight in that time, that's so, why is that? Because, because, because it's not, it's not an, a, 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 I mean, it's Oh, not, she did that. I can do that. Yeah. So it's right. the results on typical. So you can't, you can't say that. It's the same thing with income. Thing. I, and I think that was Vima's problem, their income. They were telling everybody they could make all this money in a certain period of time when really they, they couldn't. And my son was involved in Vima, and he actually left because he said he couldn't stand the hype of it all. You know, they were, just, they were just pushing people to sell, and, you know, he felt like he wasn't being honest. They wanted him not to be honest when he was promoting – the products or the the business you know never even had so. a company yeah. yeah i had my brother my brother told me, my brother doesn't want to look at isogenics because he had such a bad he's 21 and he had such a bad taste in his mouth from all the kids that he knew that were doing it and they were just talking about making a lot of money and everything and also jeffrey combs did tell me 
that they had somebody in the corporate office as a plant and the, and the company was promoting that for them to do that. So that's another thing that I know Isogenics is not doing, but we still don't want it to get to that point. But they did have somebody in there looking from the inside and the company was, was allowing them, allowing it to happen. So we know Isogenics isn't doing that. Wow. How are other companies allowed to do that? Or is it something that, like Beachbody, they, I mean, they have their infomercials, their commercials. I mean, are they, I mean, they, is it different than I, like what we do, like network marketing? I mean, it's, they have direct sales and in a compensation plan and stuff like that. So how is Beachbody different than that, than what, you know? I never pay too much attention. Uh, there, I mean, I would think the rules are the same. Like, I mean, I know I have many Facebook friends that are in other companies and they're curing allergies and they're curing this <laughs> and that. And I'm like, seriously, your company's like, they're not allowed to do it. They just do it, you know, and, and they're just taking a big chance, especially now that, that, you know, I mean, the health and wellness industry is it's on fire. So of course, the FTC is going to be all over it. So, I mean, it's, I think it's a matter of time for a lot of other companies because what I see out there, it's, it's not good. Me too. Yeah. That's why I was just kind of curious about that as well. Yeah. But they're the, in the same category we are. Shakeology is, it's pretty big in my area and I, no one around here makes any crazy medical claims, but um, I do see a lot of posts with the weight and the time frame. Absolutely. But that's why at every single Isogenics event, you'll see the disclaimer slide. Um, Sue and I are doing um, the, um, the webinar um, slides that we just got back from after conference. And the very first slide is disclaimer. I mean, they want it in every meet, every launch party. They, they want us to be using that. So I do have, um, I have a question. I saw some people have like a fall. So, so I think you're, you're, you're doing some like a fall thing tonight. Can you, anything special you're doing? I've seen like little black dress challenges. So like, is anybody, um, you know, what are you promoting? What challenge contest are you promoting next? We're, we're actually, everything we do, we just talk about it like it's something, but it's really not. <laughs> <laughs> Are you lying? Are there, are there any plants here? <laughs> but I was thinking, it, it's along the lines of like the little black dress challenge. Is that something that we can all come together and do inside of the HHP? Okay, I'm going to tell you what happened. We did a little black dress challenge. Um, I don't think it was last year. I think it was the year before. And um, really, we wanted to get people together. It was sort of like a, you know like a ploy maybe to just you know get people to come check it out and it was a huge flop but of course the people i was working with were not the right people whatever so um i'm a little turned off by that because it was like but what we're doing now ann and i really have had luck we're lucky we live close enough to each other like three miles apart um we uh, was it last year we started with doing our meetings or was it the year before? I can't remember. It just seems like forever, but we had meetings every week, every week, every week. And it was, we saw tremendous growth on our team, but we got away from it somehow. So now what we're doing is, um, we were kind of doing the perks of isogenics, like coffee perks, you know, and talking about that. So we do something for, for a long time, Ian called it table talk. And it's really cool because it's basically, um, we invite our team, anyone that's local, whether you're b building a business or whether you're just a product user. And we, um, we just get together and it depends on who's there. If there's people that are there that are, that are new, we'll kind of go through the pillars. Um, but everybody gives a little testimony and we try to keep it compliant. We're teaching compliancy as we're doing it because people are giving their testimonies. But it's growing and growing. Like, I'm going to have to get chairs for tomorrow night, I think. I'm having one here. So that's another thing, too. I really – Cindy does it, too. I, I just believe in it. I see my business is so different when we do launch parties. So different. Yeah. Because my people will bring guests and then I'll enroll them for them. You know, so 
And so it's nothing really other than like, you know, get fit for fall. So we're not saying there's a prize, there's a, you know, we're not committed to anything. Okay, cool. Because I started, I have one of my leaders is close by as well. And um, we started doing Wellness Wednesdays and we haven't been able, with school starting, we haven't been able to do the past couple of weeks, but we are on for this week. So I thought, you know, if this was something that I could just put out to my local team members, like you said, like, I would love that. Like, you can bring your prospects, like, well, you know, and I'd love it to be, you know, and we don't have, like, we're just getting started at this point. So we don't have, you know, it's a wellness Wednesday. It's for prospects. It's like a team meeting, you know, everybody that wants to come, come and we'll just, you know, come together and, you know, and, and do whatever. And I can't wait till we get to the point where we have to like separate, you know, like, like team meeting and whatever. But at this point, I think it would be um, something that would work. So I'll just steal your graphic and <laughs> oh, absolutely and definitely, <laughs> definitely do it and be consistent about yeah. doing it because yep. Yep, that's I, people love to come week after week. And, and this is what I do. So um, I'll, I'm just going to tell you right now. So I have this new girl that I enrolled a couple weeks ago. Um, I coach with her. She has great results. So I asked her last week to come to the meeting and speak now, everybody gets a chance to share, but so she came to the meeting and um, she spoke. So I took her picture because she had a before and after, and I actually posted it. She's got so many people. She has three people coming tomorrow night. So I'm like, she'll be a consultant tomorrow night. Yeah. So if you kind of do that, you know, when you're, and not everybody's local and nearby, but if you can get people to do that. So we're, we're doing it every week, no matter how tired we are, no, ma no matter how many soccer right. games we have to go to, you know, how many crock pot meals we have to make, we're doing it. Yeah, that's the consistency for sure. Right. But Kim, if you have an idea, I, I mean, we did the back to school challenge thing. I mean, I, we're always up for something to get people excited. I mean, we have, when is the next launch party week? October 19th ish. Yeah, it is. This I, is I saw Lori put something out too. So maybe we could just promote this fall thing. Like it doesn't, like Sue said, it doesn't have to be anything more than yeah. just like, Hey, we're getting a bunch of people, you know, it's, it's nothing different, but we're just calling it a group, just trying to get people. Right. Started. And I think, you know, we need to be smart because every single time we have a launch party week, the next week stinks. Yes. Perfect. So we should, as leaders come up with something for next month because um, last week was just terrible. And I think it's because we had such a great week the week before. It was amazing. It broke records. And then last week was terrible. So maybe we can be thinking of something special that we do. I was so hoping the pumpkin shakes would have came back last week because that could have been something to get yeah. people excited again. And they did. I heard October 19th, Dr. Ina had responded on a thread in, I think it was Isogenics Business. And she said that October 19th was, which is the same day as launch, launch party, party week. week. So that'll give us a major double whammy on wow. launch party week. Wow. And then the <laughs> next week will be, yeah. So you know what? The next, the that's following. That's where I'm going to hit three star. So that's the following week, we should definitely plan some events. Yeah. yeah. Like everybody, you know how they say, you know, the leaders have to show the way. It's like, that's what we have to do. So, you know, get these parties on the books, have them all planned, you know, bring people to them. Because it really is a wash when we have a great week like that. It's almost like nobody wants to work until the week there's something to work you know, with, and then they kind of go back. So it takes a whole week off the next week. And then it's just like, ah, and then for those of us trying to get into the leadership pools, a week like that is great, but then it really screws you up for the next month because now your benchmarks go up so much higher. And so, you know, it's really what we really want is that consistency. We don't want one crazy, crazy week and then have it, you know, flatline the next week. So we definitely need to be proactive for that for sure. All right. Any I haven't heard an official date. Did when you? The cool, I heard when the cool programs officially starts, which usually is in October. Okay. So October, October 23rd. 23rd. The 19th. Oh, that late? Wow. Well, October that might be great. Is when we end up with launch party week and pumpkin shakes, and the next week we have sea salt caramel. <gasps> that would be great. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm almost out. 
No, I they know. need to do one each week. The shake one week, another ice of delight the next yeah, week. That would be the smart thing to do. Yes, that would be awesome. Yes. Well, you know, um, the one, well, it's a, it's a double-edged sword, but the good thing is we could really, excuse me, go nuts with that because um, they're not, it's not going to be, it's just seasonal, right, Cindy? Mm-hmm. That's what they said. Mm. The ice of delights? That's what they yeah. said. The oh. new one. I didn't know that. I thought the pumpkin was seasonal, but they, I didn't think they didn't I, say limited to quantity like they did with the pumpkin, but they said seasonal. So my thought was they're probably going to keep it through the fall. Like, I don't think we're going to have to go nuts buying the Isa Delights that they're going to sell out in three days. Um, but I, they did say seasonal. And my hope is that everybody loves them and they sell so much they'll be. Yes. But if you, when did you say the week of the 23rd, those probably will be the Isa Delights? Well, it's the cooler program ends the 23rd. Just in time for Halloween. Hey, you know what I wondered too? Does anybody, Cindy said she didn't notice it or whatever, but every box I get has a catalog in it. Mm -hmm. Well, I just got, I, for the first time after you said that, I wasn't before, now I just did, got two. So I kind of feel like they're going to change the catalog. Why are they, I've, I have like eight catalogs. Eight. Yes. Yes, that's you're probably right because they're trying to get rid of them. Yeah, it's like everybody take them. <laughs> so. All right. Any other topics? Um, ISA for wealth. I'm so thrilled. Thank you guys. Everybody stepping up and helping there. Um, I, I, I said ISA for wealth. I think ISA for life. I still feel like we've lost a lot of steam there. And I know, I know, people are feeling divided. They can't be in two places at one time. But I'm just going to continue to ask for support as we transition. Um, I, Jill has offered to completely take it over. So as you guys are migrating people over, have them get off of ISA for life then. Um, but please, if you're doing 10 posts a day in HHP, can you just do one, copy that same post and put it in ISA for life, just one to keep some, some life there because you know, they're not just my team members that are there guys. They're all of yours too. There's a lot of people that are so far down deep and they don't have a lot of um, support and we don't want to forget about them. Hey, Cindy, I have a question about that. Yes. Um, are we, like, I don't know who's approving all these people now, but are we getting in touch with sponsors and kind of saying there's a shift going on, or are we just adding them in? Because maybe think, some of those people don't know that we're shifting. Yeah, I think for our personal people, we have been doing that and been in process of that. So as your personal people are now getting involved in HHP, you can start having them remove themselves from ISA for life. Because that ISA for life is going to end up being the same thing, but it's going to take them a while. But I think Lori's talking about right now, people are going on there and somebody's approving them. So maybe somebody should, can, you know, if we see on the approval thing, so-and-so added so-and-so or so-and-so needs approval. Does it say the person who added them name? Yeah. Yep. Yes. It okay. does say, and it doesn't make any sense to me. If we're trying to, if we're working towards getting that site to go away, why do we keep adding people? They're not people that you know, I'm adding or my personally enrolled are adding. I don't even know how deep far down there they are that they're adding, but I don't want to say no and not let them have a spot if they're not, you know, if their sponsor's not engaged. So that's going to be on Jill's team too, right? If she's taking it over. It's I mean, all, I mean, they're yeah. all, anybody on my team is on Jill. So, right. But I'm just saying they could be like on her. Well, why don't we just add them to HHP? They don't have to be welcomed per, they could just be on there because really they're getting the education. They're getting all the same information. Why would they be at it? I guess, Lori, you're asking, why would they be at it to ISA for Life? The people that are adding them aren't in HHP. Well, that's what we mean. So somebody needs to reach down, whoever, wherever they are, and get them on HHP instead. You yeah, know? they're going to stay on that page for the future, maybe. Well, what if we do this? They could so be I'm sorry, Gina. Sorry. Go ahead. Now, I was just going to say, not everyone's coming over to HHP. If they're Jill's direct, they, she wants them on that page. So that might be people she's personally enrolled in their team and everything. So that's who's getting added. That's who needs to get added there. So who's Jill? I'm just curious. She's my sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. She's my What's her last name? Scott. Okay. <laughs> she's part of this mastermind group. Okay. Okay. Well, okay. So on Paul and Lynette's thing, they talk often about like everybody wants, they're in Jill Bowman's 
upline and everybody wants to be added to that now to see how it's going. And they always say you have to be financially linked to Jill Bowman. So what if we put a, what if we put something on ice for life that says, you know, anybody that's in Cindy Walter and below in their group, we, we started a new HHP group, you know, we can, is that, could we do something like that? Like I'm starting, I'm personally, like I've been working today on getting my people out of ISA for life, making sure that everybody's added into HP. And it's definitely a process, but what if we put something like that to be able, because I know what you're saying, Cindy, there's some people that are down far that we don't know where, you know, we can't reach out to every single person. Are you comfortable doing something like that? Or what, what are your thoughts on that? I am. The only thing I want to prevent is I, I'm so glad Jill's willing to take this over, and I think there will be some some of our team members that are going to be still in that group, and that is absolutely fine. It's going to turn into the same exact thing HHP is. Um, I don't think we can possibly get to every single person because there's so many people in there. For those that we can get over ourselves, I'd say let's do that. I'm not opposed to doing that. I just don't want that group to have a max exodus of like 2,000 people at one time and then they lose steam. I, I wanna make sure this is something like, I wanna, I want to leave that group intact. I, Jill's got, um, she's got executives helping her with it that are gonna take it over that I'm not financially linked to. So when, when it's all said and done and we're hoping to have this all done by the end of the year, Jill's got a great group of people to work with and there might be several of our teams still in there. It's okay, I mean, right. But I'm not opposed to doing that, Kelly. I just, the only thing I fear is too many people leaving at one time. That's my only fear. Okay. Okay. How many are there now, Cindy? It's still about 5,000. So you know what? I, I don't know if you really need to be concerned with that. I mean, you're not going to have a mass exodus of 5,000. I, I agree with that. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Too many people. I mean, even, if, even if everyone's adding, I mean, really, even if, a thousand people left all at once, which is not going to happen. You're still talking about four thousand people. It's never going to disintegrate. Well, and the other but thing guys, is, is we're assuming all five thousand of them are active on the page, and I think it's fairly reasonable to say that only a thousand of them are somewhat engaged, and the other four are kind of completely disconnected. Yeah, Gina, what were you going to say? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. No, I was going to say that. People that know they're financially linked to you are going to be over on the HHP page. Like, so I don't know that that post would capture those people. Because if they're so far down, they're like, Cindy who? I mean, so I don't know what type of post you could put out there to, you know, make them understand that. Maybe connect with your coach and see, or connect with the yeah. person who enrolled you. All right. Maybe that's something we can work on. Talk about it in the mastermind group. I think it, yeah. I also think it's a trickle-down effect if we all go through, uh, if you go into ISA for Life and go into members, you know, the people closest to you are going to come up top first anyways, and you go through and, and really try to move your people over, and then they move their people over, et cetera, et cetera. You know, right. in a month from now, let's see what it looks like. Yeah. And, and I'm reaching out to my leaders and saying, okay, go in through into ISA for Life and remove your people, make sure everybody's in HHP. I mean, I'm coming up, I've... I'm not even a quarter of the way through and, and I've already removed almost a hundred people, people that ha that, that aren't using the products anymore. So, I mean, I think we're definitely going to find there's way, way, way more people that are not engaged than we Oh yeah. And the ones that aren't engaged, you know, if we leave them there, there's no problem in that. Maybe someday something will trigger their, trigger their excitement and they'll get re-engaged. Who knows? All right. Anything else you guys want to chat about before we end? Okay. Well, Tara, thanks for taking over for next week for me and getting that recorded. And um, we will uh, hopefully Sue and I will both be on the phone while we're traveling home and anything else that comes up guys, just post in, um, in the mastermind group. Thank you for getting on. Have a great week, everybody. Thanks, Cindy. Bye. Bye. Bye.